What's up, everybody? Just making sure that everything's clear here. What's up, everybody? This is Sticks. Bringing you another video. And today, I wanted to just talk to y'all. I really see that y'all enjoy the videos where I'm just talking to y'all. So, I just wanted to give y'all a quick, like, quick video. Just giving y'all some advice of what I've been learning these past couple of days. Um, number one, get connected with your ancestors. Number one, get connected with your ancestors. You got to understand that this is a spiritual world. No matter what you want to say, this world was created by the spiritual, right? You have ancestors that have been here before. You have ancestors that are able to be in different realms, different dimensions, and are able to give you information. Now, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I learned that a lot of the ancient Egyptian knowledge has come from them having contact with other Anunnaki, alien aliens, people from different dimensions, ancestrals. So I just imagine like connect with your ancestors. Your ancestors can get you out of a lot of situations. Your ancestors can connect you to the source. The ancestors can guide you and can see things that you cannot see. So number number one, get connected with your ancestors. You may say sticks, how do I connect with my ancestors? Number one, you first gotta locate where you are from. So my father is from Jamaica. So with Jamaica, they're connected to Nigeria. And that spirituality that they learn is Yoruba. So I've connected with Yoruba and I learned my name, Ori, is actually connected to Yoruba spirituality. So imagine me finding all that out and the power behind that. So that's why I'm telling you, you guys gotta get connected back to your ancestors. Also, if you don't know exactly who your ancestors are, I recommend studying about all the buddhism the the egyptian study everything learn everything that you can learn learn freaking everything learn everything and take everything from different spiritualities because you have to understand everything is all connected i don't know about christianity though but everything is connected so take that time to get connected to the source learn how other religions learn how other cultures connect look at what they do what rituals what sacrifices what what practices what what ways of honoring the ancestors do they do they do they use sage do they use palo santo and start connecting start asking questions start asking where you're from figure out what is connected to you also another thing that i've realized is that your daily practices really matter. What are you doing every day to help yourself? Like I've started doing this meditation called Hemisync, which I'm actually doing research on so I can create a great video on my mystery school. Also, if you're not in my mystery school, make sure y'all go ahead and check that out. It's in the description, Sticks is Mystery School. It's basically where I have my own classes where I break down books. I break down, I'm gonna start breaking down movies. I'm gonna be breaking it down, everything, right? Anyway, so, you gotta understand like your daily practices. So I started doing meditation. I started taking ashwagandha, plant medicine. You know, being very curious about different practices like plant medicine. You know, like whatever you're interested in, if it's like numerology, if it's, if it's astrology, <clears throat> study it, get deeper into it because what you'll find is that these practices will connect you to, <clears throat> these practices will connect you to deeper things like chakras like like freaking energy like um vibrations science quantum physics quantum jumping timeline shifting all these different things astral projections and calisthenics all these different habits and things that you can develop in you know i find that when people get depressed or sad or lonely Sometimes it may be because they've stopped working on themselves. Like when you're doing daily work on yourself and you're working on getting better every day, that creates an excitement in your life. That creates a type of energy in your life that gets you excited to wake up. You're like, dang, I can't wait to work on it today. I can't wait to do my videos today. I can't wait to post a video today. I can't wait to write today. I can't wait to meditate. Also making sure that I have time to journal out my thoughts more. Try different things, add new habits to your life, see what works for you. Some people do a book a week. I try to do 10 pages minimum a day. I just focus on reading, creating habits, and these things is what will create growth with inside of you. You have to be focused on growth. You came here to create and to evolve. Like X said, you came here to create and evolve, and you have to understand through creation is how evolution happens. Do you, do you, do you understand that? 
Through creation is how evolution happens. So the more you create, the more you evolve, the more you, you grow your soul, the more you create abundance for yourself. Because every video, every seed, every art, every painting, it's a seed planted into the ground that is waiting to sprout. You gotta know that. So, I bring this video to you because, like, I'm gonna tell you what I plan on doing. Like, I told y'all a while ago, like, my plan is just planting seeds every day. Like, a video, a, a book, a, a freaking song. Like, drop something. Just keep dropping. Because here's the thing. When you just keep creating and just not even worry about the end result, you're like, man, something's going to happen. I'm just going to focus on the now. Just keep creating, creating, creating. Eventually, you're going to get that. Eventually, you're going to get that result that you've been looking for. But you got to create every day. You can't just create today and then not create tomorrow and then not do nothing, not do nothing. Like, you got to every day focus on growth. Every day focus on getting better. Every day see how you can expand your knowledge. Every day see how you can. Because what's going to happen is you're going to feel happiness from that growth. You're going to feel happy with yourself. You're going to be excited. You're going to. Like, there's something about seeing growth. My back. There's something about seeing growth. <clears throat> Growth just does something to you. Growth gets you hungry. Growth gets you to get up. Like, working out and seeing your muscles growing. Like, it makes you be like, I got to get back in the gym. I got to keep going. Because that growth inspires you. And here's the key. Your growth inspires others, too. And this is why I talk to y'all about this. Because I need y'all to start creating again. I need you to get back to your passions. I need you to do what makes you happy. Because here's the thing. When you start doing that, you're going to inspire other people to do the same. Trust me, people are watching you. Believe it or not, people are watching you and people are getting inspired. So I don't know who's watching this, but work on your growth instead of the ending. Because there's no, st there's no such thing as an ending. You just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. So stop working on... And stop focusing on the end result and focus on the journey, getting better in your habits and in your systems every day. Because here's the thing, you're going to get a goal and stop doing it. Like if your goal is like, oh, I'm going to drop 130 pounds and then like, that's it. Like I'm, I'm going to drop 130 pounds. I'm going to drop 30 pounds and then that's it. And then you drop 30 pounds and then what? What you going to do? You're going to stop working out. You're going to start eating cakes again and all that shit. Because you was focused on the goal and not the system. Instead of focusing on like, I want a healthier life over time and realizing that your goal is going to be hit as a side effect of your system and of your habits. So I hope this video was of some help and I hope this was able to give you some guidance and give you some type of good energy and inspiration. I want you to chase those dreams, not even chase those dreams. I want you to attract those dreams. I want you to visualize every day. I want you to read every day. And make sure y'all go ahead and check out the Mystery School because a video a day on there will definitely help you. All right. Love you guys. And I'm out.